Hey, everybody. My name is Jordan Adler, and I'm checking in with you tonight from Jerome, Arizona. I know most of you. Thanks for jumping on with us tonight. I do have, <coughs> excuse me, I do have a little bit of training for you tonight. Um, but before that, I've invited um, Rob Madden uh, to join us tonight. Rob is actually near Long Island, so he's in New York, and he is signed up in the business by Sarah Baslow. And uh, Sarah, in our old plan, was an executive. And I don't know what star rank she is, but she's up there. And she, uh, she has a nice residual check. And she's, uh, she's been a Tony Robbins coach for years. And that's how she met Rob. Rob has a background in asset management. He did sales to financial planners for years. He was in the Naval Academy with, his with your wife at one point, right, Rob? She's seven years younger. But yeah, we're yeah. both. Uh... Yeah. And, and so... So Sarah was um, was was Rob's business coach a while back, and Sarah actually lives in Costa Rica, so she doesn't even live in the United States. And Rob found um, sent out cards during COVID, sent his first card during COVID, and so he hasn't been with us for too long. He's uh, got about seventy customers in his organization, and <coughs> I don't know what's going on here all of a sudden, but got about 70 customers in his organization and he uh he was just telling me a story about a presentation he did to a real estate office we'll probably hear about that he uh he's a star too and sent out cards and he sent about twelve thousand cards rob thanks for jumping on with us hey thanks for having me jordan i'm a big yeah. fan let's let's start off with um just i'd love you to for you just to tell what was it about what what was it that you saw in send out cards <clears throat> what about it <clears throat> wow <clears throat> I've been talking all day and this hasn't happened. I might just have to, I, get, I might just have to turn it over to you. All right, I'll do as much bit, as well as I'm I gonna, I'm gonna put myself on mute while you talk. Tell me a little bit about what you love about send out cards. Sure. So Sarah introduced me to send out cards sometime probably early September of, of 2020. And you know, I was stuck at home with three kids that were being homeschooled. And I, I was at the time I was in between jobs and just looking for an opportunity to kind of touch base with the people I know. And I had used not send out cards, but I've used multiple card sending services. And I had no idea there was an affiliate style uh, program that available with send out cards. And when she explained it to me, I was, she was like, wow, I wish everybody was as easy as you. I mean, I saw the value immediately. Uh, I'm also somebody who, when I they hear ninety-seven dollars, I can send as many cards as I want. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm going to send a thousand cards. So, and uh, that first month, I probably sent a few hundred. Good, but I think months where I've sent a thousand cards. Yeah, uh, and I just I, we we absolutely love it. My my wife uh, kind of got on board as well, and we basically created her as the affiliate. I'm her number one salesperson, and. Uh, we use it every single day. And what, what um, so you both use send out cards. You both send cards on the system. Tell everybody about like how you use it and how your wife uses it. Like, give me some examples of ways that you use send out cards. My wife's a teacher. She leaves in the morning at like 6.15 a.m. And I have three little kids. I got to get on the bus before I head off to work. And uh, so I get up around the same time um, as she's kind of prepping to leave. And I have my cup of coffee at the at the counter in the kitchen. And, and I just I go through social media and I usually people post pictures they love. So I grab one or two here and there. I usually send about a, 10 cards as I'm having that first cup of coffee. Nice. It's usually one picture uh, with a quick note, you know, I could comment on Facebook, but this is so, so much more impactful and people really appreciate them. I mean, I, the feedback loop that this has created has been unbelievable. It, feels, I, it feels good to start your day that way, doesn't it? It feels awesome. I mean, I, I basically created it as a pillar of my day because I know I'm starting off. I mean, I also, you know, I wake up, I have my gratitude practices and this is part of that, but the things that have happened in my life since I've started to send cards are unreal. I mean, I'll, if you want to share one. Yeah, quick. yeah, share it. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Cards with the expectation of receiving anything back. But I've developed some, what where I would consider more like acquaintances have become very good friends. And with just that simple, we might be attached on Facebook, but you know, it's, it's a friend's ex-husband 
Uh, this one gentleman in particular, you know, we, we belong to the same music club and every now and then I'll see him at a concert. And one day last October, he tells me, he goes, guess what I'm doing this week, Rob? He goes, I'm playing in a pro-am tournament at one of the most prestigious country clubs around here with ladies from the European tour. And I was like, that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. I was like, wow, I mean, that's amazing. And, uh, Something happened in those three days leading up to the tournament. And he called me the Tuesday night before it was supposed to happen. And he, you know, he's texted me before he's never called me. And I pick up the phone and uh, he goes, Rob, something's up. Uh, I can't make it tomorrow. And I told the group, you would be the perfect fill in. And I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, so I made a couple things on my calendar that night about 8 PM. And I showed up to this, uh, you know, very, again, prestigious country club and, basically played in a televised event with uh you know a pro golfer from australia and two other gentlemen i had never met before who i'm now friends with and who have received cards from me we had the best day he was genuinely excited for me and i think because i was genuinely excited for him the fact he was going but it all came back to our relationship jumped to that level yeah because he's got a cool job and i send him cards and, and and he appreciates them. They adorn his refrigerator, and it just it took our relationship to a new level. Yeah, and I would an amazing experience if not for it. What you send out comes back, right? Uh, I'm a full believer in the law of attraction. Everything you put out into the universe comes back to you multiplied. Yeah, agreed. How does your wife use it? Because she's a school, she's a teacher, right? Yeah, my wife's a school teacher and, you know, she uses it. She actually teaches special ed and uh, she's got high school students. So a lot of them have kind of learning disabilities and, you know, that life can sometimes be a struggle for them. My wife is the most genuine, big hearted person I've ever met in my life. She's, she's pretty amazing, but she uses them to help communicate uh, on behalf of the students to home right because a lot of times they you know when you get feedback reports from school especially in the group that she kind of teaches oftentimes it's negative news that's when they call home so she used it to really kind of honor her students and uh give them credit and then they do little projects here and there they'll do like mother's day cards they'll do father's day cards they'll do holiday cards and uh you know she'll she'll show them how to do it and kind of uh send them out that way uh, on top of yeah she does the same thing i do if, if a friend does something great she'll send them a quick note and just tell them wow that's amazing and uh yeah so you're you're all about acting on promptings it sounds like completely i i bought in uh, you know the story that cody shared when i first went and i watched that video i mean i had already seen the value in the system i had already again used services like this and was like wow i could i could potentially make money off of that and that's kind of our that's just a nice aside almost but um i i you know i love the the mission of the company and and what they do definitely yeah. so so uh one question that i got today and and i get it probably two or three times a week, and I know others do too, is how do you transcend from sending somebody a, a nice card or two or three to, uh, to asking them to take a look at it as a service? Or how do, you, how do you go from sending cards to signing up people? And then also, I'd love for you to tell the story about the real estate presentation you just gave. Sure. And I mean, it's a great question. I'll admit it, we're, we're not good at it because Remember, our ultimate goal is to touch other people's lives and then to to kind of wrap it into a sales pitch. I always feel like it cheapens my delivery. So um, I tend not to. I t- we, we would probably have a couple hundred uh, in our downline if we did it more. Yeah. We both have full time. We leverage this for relationship building. But people always ask, how did you do that? Or what is this? You know, sometimes it takes 25 cards to get them to ask that. But, uh, and oftentimes, uh, so we don't do it as much. But what we do do is we use our social media to share kind of our mission. And our mission was to touch people's lives, uh, to show people through COVID starting uh, that how much people mean to us in our lives and if they want to join our mission we're happy to you know we'd be happy to have them simple as that 
So we give them the links and we give them the way to kind of get to our landing page. And I see people pop up on there all the time. Sure. When people ask about it, I share the story and I tell them about it. Um, but other than that, you know, we, we're not good about the follow. Right. One example, the real estate office, you know, I have a friend uh, that his wife is a real estate agent. I've been sending him cards for probably two years and he's, he kept kind of harassing his wife to, to join. Eventually she brought a few of the cards into work and they loved them. They were doing some idea sharing in the, in the agency that day. And she contacted me with the manager and said, would you do a zoom? And I said, sure. So I jumped on a zoom for about 30 minutes and walked them through how I use it and how simple it is. We sent out about eight cards while we were on that 30 minute zoom. Um, I catered it kind of towards real estate, you know, how I would utilize it to maybe open up a, a cold lead. And, you know, I'm in sales. So I, you know, I gave them some ideas and got creative and they loved it. And the next day I get a text, like everybody loves it. We're going to sign up, you know? Then she tells me two or three people signed up. I, I get nothing. I see nothing. Right. And then all of a sudden, a week and a half go by. And one morning before 9 a.m., I just see email. I got 12 emails in a row. So 12 nice. new customers like that, which was really cool to see. Yeah, yeah. But what would you say to somebody who, you know, gets it? They, they totally get what you just said. But they're a little, they, they send cards all the time. They use the system and they love it. And, uh, they, and, and they're not... Uh, they're not comfortable jumping on a Zoom uh, to show it to other people. Like, you know, what if, like some people are just terrified. They don't put themselves out there because they're terrified that someone might ask them to actually give a presentation to a group of realtors. What would well, you say? That's a tough, I mean, listen, I'm a fan of getting out of your comfort zone. Uh, years ago, um, I can't say I was ever afraid of public speaking, but I always, I, I did enough public speaking where sometimes I would get up and I would lose my train of thought. And that was a very scary moment for me. And, and I completely lose my train of thought to the point where I, I have no idea where I was. And I'd be in front of a room of 100 people. So what I did was I, I actually started doing stand-up comedy. And I ended up doing about 14 open mics. There's nothing more terrifying than being up in front of a room of strangers and trying to make them laugh and <laughs> failing. Right. I learned from that. And I mean, I would say get out of your comfort zone. I, maybe take an improv class. Maybe. Um, maybe try some public speaking uh, or take a public speaking class. I mean, there's so many tools out there. I would, I would say go for it. Yeah. What I did is, you know, I started with, I was terrified for many, many years and I would start with one person, then two people, then five people and get in network marketing. And then before I knew it, it was a room full of people. And then it was, you know, big places. And now it's like, I still, you know, there's times where I have butterflies, but uh, I just, uh, you know, I have my plan and I, I stick to it. Um, I just make it step by step. And, uh, you know, a lot of times it's much worse in our head than it is in real, real life once we get going. So it is incredibly, and we know what we're doing with send out cards. So really the, the hardest part about public speaking is kind of that, you know, being prepared, we're prepared. We do this every day. We yeah. start sending cards. Every day. We're just it's teaching just people, showing people what you do every day. It's just showing it to them. Right. So, Hey, listen, Rob, thanks for, thanks for jumping on with us tonight. I got a little bit of training for everybody tonight. Um, some things that I learned today, actually, some of it, I knew some of it I learned, but I'm going to be sharing some, uh, I was, I'm in a, uh, a one year, $20,000 mastermind that I joined, uh, with people that like it's way out of my comfort zone in the online marketing world. It's an online marketing mastermind. And uh, the guy that started that group, um, who actually, believe it or not, uh, Cody recognized him tonight as being a new star one. Uh, it's Rudy Maurer. Um, and that's the, that's the guy that runs the mastermind. I signed him up. Um, we signed them up. Uh, Dream Life Games, which is Laurel Langmire. And, uh, and so I'm going to be tonight um, sharing some of the tips that he gave, uh, along with my own flair. You know, I've added some things to it. So Thank you uh, so much, Rob, and congratulations, and uh, look forward to being on this, continuing to be on this journey with you. Thanks for having me, Jordan. Really appreciate what you do, what you do for everybody in this organization. Uh, these are great calls, and uh, you're always willing to give back. You know, at your level, it's really cool to see that. So thank, thank you. you, sir. Take care. See ya. Stay with me, everybody. So I've got a little bit of training for you. Thank you, Rob, and uh, say hi to Sarah. I know Sarah. Uh, Sarah let me know that Rob was on the move, and so... I uh, thought it'd be nice to have him as a guest tonight. Um, so what Rudy was talking about tonight was steps for launching a million dollar business. 
And I know uh, some of you are, you know, going for that million dollar business. Some of you are going for a couple thousand bucks a month and that's okay because all of these tips uh, still apply. And so i took some of the steps that Rudy gave today. <clears throat> and again, this is from the master, a $20,000 mastermind. He signs up about five to eight people a week on a $20,000 mastermind. And then he's put together an unbelievable structure with daily calls and training. And I'm learning a lot and I'm meeting a lot of people, but um, I'm going to go through, uh, I've got, I didn't, I need to renumber these things, but I'm going to go through a few uh, tips. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to uh, Callie and Dave and Cody tonight for bringing to light the link tree. I've known about link tree for, oh gosh, probably about three years. And I have friends that use it and I just, I just never thought, you know, but it's something that we all should be using. And so I went in and fortunately nobody had beach money. So I grabbed it. I could, Kenny couldn't even believe it because there's a million people that have link tree and beach money was still available. So I got that. So I'm happy about that, but I'm going to be setting up my link tree. And I think everybody should do that. And uh, Matt Shorty Wells, uh, I think that it is uh, the, really the way to go because it is super dupli duplicable and it's something that uh, doesn't take any training to learn how to do it. It's very simple. So anyway, steps for launching $1 million business, drop comments if you learn something new or if you just want to take notes in the comments or if you're wanting to, however you take notes. Number one, uh, focusing on attraction sources. So we're going to talk about steps for launching a million dollar business or steps for launching a $5,000 a month business. Doesn't really matter. It's all the same. Attraction sources. Now, attraction sources would be things that you do to attract, kind of like what Rob was talking about tonight, things that you do to attract business. It would be called marketing, right? Marketing is putting out uh, your, your mission and positive energy, your culture, putting it out there so that others see it and the ones that resonate with it will contact you. That's attraction marketing. And when you're brand new or if you don't have a lot going into your business, you don't have a lot going on in your business. If that's all you do is attraction marketing, it's a long road because you're waiting for people to contact you. You're putting stuff out and waiting people for people to say, hey, I'm interested in this. And that's marketing. And there's things that you can do to accelerate that. But what Rudy recommended, and I agree, and when I look at my business, I've done this, and this is what you want to do, is you want to have many entry points. So it can't just be like, one entry point. It can't just be like Facebook groups or it can't be just like sending cards. That's attraction marketing, sending cards, sending gifts, not saying anything about the business or the, or the service. It's just sending out positivity and waiting for the positivity to come back. And that happens, but you got to send a lot of cards. You got to do it in the right vein, the right spirit. You want to cast a big net to pull in a lot of people. And again, we're talking marketing. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get people into the to get people interested. Cards and gifts, social media posts. You know, I see Jim and Cindy are regularly putting out positivity posts and memes and things like that, and that's good. Some people see that it's like you know Rob talked about on his social media. He's posting positive things, sometimes posting links, but you know it can be networking, can be marketing where you're just out there, but you're not proactively approaching anybody. You're just kind of waiting for them to come to you. And that's a big part of what we do. And it's probably what most people do. And that's the reason why most people's businesses don't grow too fast um, is because that's all they're focused on. The second thing for building a million dollar business is outreach. That, that's what we'd call sales. So number one is attraction sources, which is marketing and outreach is sales. That's calling potential card senders or messaging potential card senders and affiliates, building new relationships with new people that might be interested, and then actually reaching out to them. And I would say that from the beginning, about 50% of my business has been built with marketing, and about 50% has been built with sales. Like when I meet somebody that I think would be great, that I think would love this, I reach out to them and they say, I want to set up a time to get together with you and show you some things. Would that be okay? And, and it really is that general, but it's outreach, sales, calling potential card senders and affiliates and or calling leads. Now, 
I don't, I've never done leads. There are people that do it and some people have success with it and some don't, but there's things you can do with LinkedIn. Um, you can take a inexpensive uh, LinkedIn course, or you can go on YouTube and learn LinkedIn from YouTube videos for free. Uh, you can message people while you're in clubhouse. So if you jump on clubhouse uh, and you're in a, in a uh, clubhouse room with other people that are maybe interested in network marketing or interested in online marketing or interested in attraction marketing, and you're in that group, you can actually click on their name and go to their Instagram and send them a message on Instagram. You know, I, I, I was intrigued by what you had to say. I'd love to connect with you, you know, and, and you can build relationships through Clubhouse that way. But again, reaching out to people, business. So, but what's really interesting is there's, there's tools out there that you can automate that. Like there's AI stuff. Um, it's called, it's, it's uh, artificial intelligence to, you know, to automate the process of reaching out to people. Business owners want to automate, but customers, if you think about it, people on the receiving end, as a customer, we don't want to be on the receiving end of automation. So business owners want to set up systems, like there's systems for LinkedIn that people sell you, but on the customer's end, they don't want to be on the receiving end of automation. Customers want the personal touch. So the closer you can get to the personal touch, that's why send out cards is so positive or so powerful. <clears throat> so, but the reason I'm going through this is because you want to be aware that there's two different ways to grow your business. One is attraction marketing, which is, a, you know, multiple attraction sources and sending cards and gifts are attraction sources, sources as so as, so as posting positivity on social media or, or stories, that kind of thing. Number two is outreach, that's sales. That's actually proactively getting in touch with someone. So when I went to this last mastermind retreat in Cabo, uh, there were people there that I knew that I was interested in talking to about the business. So I told them I'm gonna be reaching out to them. And then when I got home, I sent them messages and some of them are on my calendar. A couple of them are already, in fact, three of them are on my calendar right now. And there are only 12 people there. And they're on my calendar for this week. And I'm going to be giving them demos and talking them to them about collaboration. So that's outreach, right? That's not marketing. That They didn't come to me. I went to them. Number three, um, he, uh, Rudy recommended, and I would agree with this, is to focus really on one or two channels of communication and then expand to more. So some examples of channels of communication are like Instagram, Facebook, events are online and offline events are channels. Uh, 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 organic is a channel, organic growth. Email lists are a channel, like you've got your um, Prompting Pro, that's a channel because you're building a list in Prompting Pro and you send your newsletter out through that. Podcasts are a channel. So you wanna get going on, on one or two of those and get really, really focused and good at those and then continue to add new channels. So, uh, and I would, I would probably agree with that, right? Rather than trying to learn everything and do everything, you know, I know Jim and Cindy, they focus on LinkedIn because they're really good at it. And then they can, they can do some other stuff too, but they're really focused on LinkedIn and they're, they're really focusing on that channel. So pick one or two, focus on those. And then as you build success with those one or two, branch off into the other channels. So number four, number four, is R, R, U, R period, R period, U period. And that stands for referrals, renewals, and upgrades. Referrals, renewals, and upgrades. Right now, we're having a lot of people <clears throat> that used to be in send out cards that are seeing everything that's going on with promptings and they've heard about the free ebook and they're receiving, they're, they're receiving um, the newsletter, people that used to be in send out cards. And our email addresses, their email addresses are still in the system because they used to be in there. So they're getting the, e the, new the newsletters and then they're wanting to renew. We're getting a lot of those. There's referrals, people that you know, use send out cards. A lot of times it's an affiliate or it might be a customer and they refer people, they tell people about it or they're sending cards and somebody says to them, you know, uh, what is this? I need to use this. And then they, they, refer, uh, they refer somebody to you. And then of course, upgrades, people that go from the free to the 37 or the 97. A lot of that happens through just staying in touch with people and making them aware of what we have going on. Like sending people the ebook that are in the business or they're, they're a customer and they're just really not plugged in. 
but they, they, they have sent out cards. Maybe they send a couple cards a year. Maybe they send their holiday cards out, but they're really not plugged in. You send them the, you send them the, the new ebook and some of those people will get engaged and upgrade. So and this is a, this is a really great it, re referral source, it, uh, RRU, because it doesn't cost anything. There's no money involved in doing any of these things, right? You can, you've got the system that's already in place. And if you're an affiliate, you've got it. And then number five, and I've been talking a lot about this one for many, many weeks now. I'm really excited about it more so than, than more so now than ever before. And I was excited about it when I discovered it. And that is partnerships, JV partnerships in the online marketing world. It's called joint venture. It's so interesting because today I was messaging back and forth with a guy that quit send out cards. He, he was in send out cards and he kind of quit. He still had his account, but he hasn't done anything in years. And he saw, he heard some of the stuff that I was doing in terms of teaching, you know, collaboration and working with people in the online marketing world. And he got excited. And he's like, I don't want to do network marketing, but I want to market to online marketers. Well, it's the same thing. It's just, we're just doing it online versus offline but he got super excited about it and he's been building funnels and he's, he's actually launching send out cards now into other online marketing uh, communities. So what Rudy was talking about today, when he was talking about partnership partnerships and JV ventures is she, he says, he does not ask how anymore. You've heard me talk about this. He does not ask how anymore. Now this guy is wildly successful. He's spent just to give you an idea of who Rudy is. He's spending $100,000 a day on advertising, Facebook advertising, $100,000 a day. Now, he's not spending $100,000 a day on Facebook advertising for send-out cards. He's spending $100,000 a day on Facebook advertising to market all of his other businesses. Now, I'm hoping maybe someday he will, but he's not right now. He's, he just decided to become an affiliate because myself and Laurel uh, we found a, a handful of people at his event that were interested in signing up. And so I went to him and said, Rudy, do you want to, do you want to set up an account? Because these people should be going under you. So we set all that up. But he said, when we were, he said today on the uh, mastermind call, he said, I just find other people that are already doing what I want to do. And this is what we've been talking about. You don't need to take courses and learn how to do everything. It's great to know a little the basics, but if you don't know something, find someone who does and show them what we do and propose collaboration. That's what I've been doing now for the past few months. And it's working really, really good by asking the question, who, not how, who, not how. Uh, you, can, you can bypass the learning curve by doing that. Build the team, podcast, joint venture experts, online business coaches, and you don't need to know a lot. In fact, you can lean on me if you need to. But the point is that there are people out there that know more than you. There are people out there that know more than me. And some of them will want to collaborate once they know what we're up to. Most of those people have no idea what we're up to. They've never seen the ebook. They've never seen our sales pages. Most of them don't even know what send out cards is or what we, I mean, I go to these, I'm going to these events now and it's, it blows my mind the number of people that don't know who we are. Once in a while, I run across someone that does, but most people don't. And then the last one, or no, two more really quick, and then we'll wrap up. We'll be a couple minutes uh, uh, after the hour. Number six, uh, Rudy suggested what Grant Cardone teaches, 10 times your goals and keep doing that. So you set your goal and then you multiply it times 10. So if your goal is to make $1,000 a month, set your goal at $10,000 a month. And heck, maybe you'll hit five. Set it at 10,000 versus 1,000. And, and then Rudy's suggestion, and I really like this, I do this, but I've never taught it before. I do what I'm going to share with you right now, but I've never taught it. And that is live as if you're already at that level. Live as if you're already at that level. And that's a mindset. That's the way you move through the world. It's the words you use. It's who you associate with. It's the relationships that you build. It's who you send your cards to. It's what you say in your cards. What would you be doing every day if you were already making $10,000 a month in our company? What would you be doing every day if you were already making $10,000 a month? What would you be doing every day? Who would you be? Do that now. Instead of walking, jump. Instead of jumping, fly. 
do that now. Don't wait till after. That's the that's the problem most people have is that they're they're doing what they're doing as it you know they're they're making two hundred dollars a month and they're acting like somebody that makes two hundred dollars a month. What if you started to think like somebody that already makes five thousand dollars a month or already makes ten thousand dollars a month? How would your life be different? You'll attract different people, right? So and then number seven. And I love this one. And this is something that's so simple for any one of us to do. And that is client success, showing, sharing stories with the world in Facebook groups. Uh, he said in ads, because a lot of those people that were on there were running ads, uh, but you can email them out. You can, you can email uh, success stories that you hear, post stuff on social media. Those testimonials are powerful for somebody that sees them. Uh, you'll see me do that all the time. In fact, I posted Beyond Win, who's a real estate flipper and a real estate investment coach out of Cleveland, Ohio. I bought many homes from him over the years, uh, investment homes. And he did a little video that I posted uh, for real estate investors on why they should use send out cards and that, those kinds of things. Whenever you see something like that, share that like crazy. Send individual messages to people with the, those things so they can see and so they can get, get that experience anyway. Um, and also people that are like maybe stagnant. They're just sitting there and they, you know, they at one point they were excited and loved to send out cards. You send them those success stories and those testimonials. Uh, sometimes that recharges them and gets them going again. So those are some tips that I got today. I embellished on them and added my own stuff, but it kind of gave you an idea of, of that. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Rob, again, thanks for jumping on as a guest tonight. And uh you guys all have a great week. I appreciate y'all jumping on and uh, we'll all talk soon. Talk to you on social media. See y'all. Bye-bye. Thanks.